A group of local attorneys is hoping the city of Wichita will make some changes when it comes to road closures and who the responsibility falls on with how to close those streets. Cake Santa King, who has uh, who went before a jury, what happened and how it's hoping to make roads safer by changing what some call a hazardous situation. When a business applies to close a street temporarily, like a sporting event, for example, the city leaves that on the business to conduct that closure. In this case, was brought after a motorcycle wreck near downtown three years ago. It recently went before a jury. The jury returned a verdict uh, in our client's favor and determined his damages were $1.7 million. We tried to resolve it with the city. Uh, the city thought it was his fault uh, and we had to take it to a jury trial. This wreck is what a pair of local attorneys are hoping will change the city's street closure process. What the jury determined was that the, the city of Wichita breached its duties to maintain the appropriate, appropriate traffic control signals. It was a typical June motorcycle ride for a longtime Wichita until it wasn't in 2021. Our client was behind a pickup truck going northbound on McLean through what they thought was a green light. The pickup truck observed the bollards at the last instant, slammed on its brakes. To summarize what attorney Dustin Devon is saying is the light was green, although there were yellow bars under it preventing cars from going through. At the last second, a truck attempted to avoid hitting those yellow poles and the motorcycle just behind the truck tried to do the same. This guy, he was driving northbound in this truck and he said he didn't see these cones up. Our client tried to go around the pickup truck in an emergency situation. His legs struck the bollard. And the city should have also either put the traffic lights on flashing red or completely covered the traffic signal. Or proper advance signs, Dustin Devon says, warning of the closure before getting to that intersection. Last week, a Sedgwick County jury returned a verdict. What they did was they determined the city of Wichita was negligent because it has a very flawed street closure process. Essentially what it's doing is shifting the burden of determining the appropriate, appropriate traffic control uh, devices and placing it on the citizens and businesses that apply for the street closure. And it can't do that. It's got the traffic engineers and it's got to adhere to its responsibilities. Our client's been living in Wichita for the last 60 years. Um, he's uh, a great asset to the community. Uh, he's someone who spent decades helping not just his own family, but the people he lives around. Uh, he mows, uh, there's people that live around him that are disabled. He mows their yards, for instance, or he used to. And this is what happened to his leg. These are actually fixed steel plates that they install basically to try to hold together the shattered bones. And he is living in retirement. But after this crash, he couldn't walk for over a year. Um, he couldn't even sleep in the, in, in the same bed as his wife for a year. He underwent five surgeries, and now he has uh, uh, basically no femur and no tibia or fibula in his lower leg. He just has uh, metal on both sides and a hinge in the middle. The team hopes that more will be done when public events are held to make sure street closures are conducted safely. I love Wichita. I have two young boys. Uh, I couldn't imagine raising them in a better city, and I know they have a lot of hardworking, dedicated public servants at the city but they do have a flawed and dangerous road closure process. Their client did not want to go on camera. We have reached out to the city of Wichita to see exactly what that road closure process looks like and if there have been any changes since the crash in June of 2021. And this is what I received from the city. The city respects and appreciates the jury's work on the case. However, we respectfully disagree with the jury's findings and are reviewing the city's options at this time. In studio, Hannah King, Cake News on your side.